So earlier we talked about really the virtues of chipping over pitching, and, and I'll say it again. The less loft you use around the greens, the less skill you need. And what that means is when we're hitting a chip, a chip is going to roll a lot longer than it flies. And so if you miss hit the ball slightly, if you, if you thin it a little bit, meaning if you catch the ball too much, or if you thick it because you hit the ground first, in a chip, your distance won't be affected as badly as in a pitch. But in a pitch, we do run this risk that if we don't make good contact, we might not get a good result. So here's an example of a very common miss. I hit the ball a little bit thin. Uh, you can see if you looked at that kind of closely, the club really passed my hands. We kind of scooped it a little bit. Uh, and that's a result we can get, although that was not terrible. Um, so let's look at a good way to hit a pitch shot. And let's look at the shot that we're facing here. So I'm going to have to carry this ball one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, really nine yards in the air to get to my landing zone. And then I've only got one, two, three more paces to the hole. And I'd say another pace where I've got a gimme putt, a putt that I'm not going to miss. Okay. So I really want the ball to end up when it's done somewhere between a distance of about three feet short of the hole to three feet long of the hole. And so I'm going to have to land the ball up in this area here. And so if you, by the way, if you watch the pros on television, you see them kind of walking around, they're probably looking at a lot of this sort of terrain and a lot of these situations. So um, that's what we need to do. And in order to hit this shot, the ball is going to fly farther than it rolls. It's going to be a pitch. And I'm going to be using a 60 degree wedge for this shot because I really want, you know, maximum carry minimum roll. Now, a lot of people might like to play a shot called a bump and run, which is really a chip where we kind of drive the ball into a hill and then we judge how the ball is going to rebound off that hill and let it release. I'm not great at that shot. I don't love it because I have a hard time judging what this longer grass will do to the rebound effect of the ball, as well as the trajectory difference of the ball striking that slope. So I don't love playing a bump and run, especially living here in the U.S. So here's our, here's our pitch shot. And again, I'm using my 60 degree wedge. I don't have a 64 degree wedge. If I did, I might use it here. Okay, so um, you saw the shot earlier where I, I scooped it and bladed it a little bit. The other shot people have trouble with is the chunk. You know, where they just hit behind it. So we got to practice that a lot. And again, this is not the preferred shot. I would much rather play a putt or a chip, but this is what we've got. So what I will be doing is I'm going to have one swing thought, and that is going to be to keep my shoulders turning throughout this shot. I don't want to get too handsy with this. And I want to trust that the loft is going to help that ball get up the way I need it to. I've got a little forward in my stance because I need to get that ball up in the air. Let's see what we can do. Landed pretty well. Okay, and that's a pretty good shot, all right? So when we hit a pitch, number one, try to hit a chip if you can, but number two, we're gonna let the ball get a little bit forward in our stance, make sure we turn those shoulders, and also we wanna make sure that we have a good plan when we're hitting those pitch shots. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the little thumbs up button for a like. Also, if you subscribe to our channel, each time we do produce new video, you'll be notified by email.